Did you know that Barolo is made up of 11 different communes? It's pretty crazy. A lot of people think that Barolo is just one region, but within Barolo, <laughs> there are all these different areas. And as we know, Nebbiolo is a very site-specific grape variety. And if you don't know that, then make sure to check out my other video where I do a deep dive into Nebbiolo as a grape variety itself. But because it is so site-specific, all these different areas in Barolo is going to produce a very different wine. So there's so much here to explore and in this quick video I'm going to give you guys a quick deep dive into Barolo so you can understand it better and enjoy it better because that's what life's about. So here is a map of Barolo itself and out of the 11 communes it is divided into five prominent areas that we're going to briefly touch on right now. So we have Barolo, yes, we have the area of Barolo within Barolo little bit confusing then we have la mora we have stellione faleto it's a bit of a tongue twister then we have serra lunga d'alba as number four and as number five we have monforte d'alba so out of these five prominent areas we can break it down even further basically three of them are split up into one side of Barolo and the other two are split into the other. So the first three that we're going to talk about is Monforte d'Alba, Castiglione Faleto and Serra Lunga d'Alba and these three make up what is called the Serra Lunga Valley. Then we have the Central Valley which is made up of La Mora and Barolo a little bit more easy, the Central Valley. So whilst all of the Barolos are classically known for these aromas of cherries, dog rose and tar, the main difference is that in the Serra Lunga Valley there is different soils which are limestone and sand and in the Central Valley it is much higher in clay. So these clay soils in the Central Valley help to produce wines that are a lot more soft and fruitier in style whereas those of Serra Lunga produce wines that are much more intense and have a lot more aging potential. So now let's talk a little bit about the queen of Nebbiolo which is in fact Barbaresco. So Barbaresco can be divided commonly into four different wine regions. So now let's take a look at Barbaresco which is typically the queen to the king Barolo and in Barbaresco we can typically divide it into four different wine growing zones. We have Barbaresco, we have Neve, we have Reviso and also San Rocco. That last one there's actually a little bit of debate whether it's still part of Barbaresco or if it's now part of Alba. Anyways I like to classify them as four. So the soils here are really limestone marl and marl is a type of clay rich so they're kind of more similar to the wines in the central valley of Barolo and La Mora but the big difference being that in Barbaresco there is a more of a maritime climate because it is closer to the Tanaro river which goes through that area there which means that the gra which means that the grapes mature earlier and Barbadesco is a little less tannic and a little more approachable than Barolo. So the difference with the wines here in terms of aroma is that you will get that dog rose, you will get those cherry aromas, but instead of tar, it's more of an aniseed type of flavor. But the best way to learn about these two wines is in fact to open up some bottles yourself. So, I think in my next video that's what I'll do. I'll be getting one of the Barolos and Barbarescas from each of these regions and actually going through a bit of a tasting. So let me know if you would be interested in that type of video by posting yes tasting in the comments below. Anyway guys, I'll see you on my next video and ciao for now. We have Castin... Castiglione... We have Castiglione... Paleto is Mon Monforte d'Alba Castign...